Hello and welcome to another little tutorial from David Ward. Uh, I'll try to keep this one a little smaller than usual, shorter than usual. Um, real quick, what I want to show you guys is is how to uh, create a, a pose library uh, in Blender 3.5. In earlier versions, you had it. Um, if you open, you know, the rig settings, you had over here under the rig object data properties, you had the option for a pose library in earlier ver earlier versions. In about 3.4 or so, they started trying to phase it out and saying this is deprecated. Um, so they finally took it out in 3.5. So I'm going to show you how to, to do the next way, the other, the new way to how to do it. So uh, right now I have my rig turned off, as you saw my turtle that I had in a couple other little short tutorials, but I want to make some express facial expressions for them. So I'm going to turn my rig back on. And what I have here aren't really um, facial bones per se. They're just uh, bones that are on his face that drive shape keys. So the shape keys, as you can see, are right here. If I select his uh, main mesh object there, you can see I have quite a few different shapes. If I tab into edit mode, uh, we can take a look at them. We've got open mouth, snarl L and then snarl R and those are the exact same pose but um, they're differentiated due to the vertex group so if I go to weight paint you can see a display of the different vertex groups that I have so I've got vertex groups I got left and right and so when that option is chosen here in the shape key it only affects the vertices that are, are that are weighted red here or weighted 100% and it gradually fades out to the other side so it only if it's got if I got the left on there it only affects this side and then if I go to the or actually when that, that's the right one if I go to the left one it only affects this side so if you didn't know you could do that well there you go neato stuff okay back to object mode grab my uh, my rig again and since I went into um, since I selected the mesh and, and went into the weight pane it automatically turned this back to object mode so go back to pose mode there and so right now it's set up and it's usable I can animate each one of these individual bones as needed um, but that gets kind of tedious and as you know uh, if you've heard me say it before tediousness is uh, tedious <laughs> so uh, I like to do things as, as easy as I can a little makes the the workflow go a little faster so I'm going to start off and add a pose with just this neutral mouth expression. So he's just, he's got his mouth closed, his mind on his business, and he's not growling at you or yelling or screaming or, or happy or sad, or he's just neutral. So, okay, so those, those are where the bones need to be for this neutral expression. And the way we start adding expressions to our library is, first off, we have to go to the Asset Browser. Boop, right there. So I've got the Asset Browser now loaded in this window over here. Um, and I want to create a new catalog. So I'll go right here, click all, and hit the plus sign, and it creates a new catalog. So I want to double click on where it says catalog, and I'm going to say turtle expressions. Okay? You see it has a little asterisk there. That means it's not saved. There's nothing wrong. If you hit control S, that asterisk goes away. All right. So I've got my, my bones posed where I want them to be. So let's add our first pose. I'm going to go to Asset, Create, Pose, Asset, and boom, it creates a little thumbnail. But it creates the whole body. I don't want that. I want to zoom in on the face. Well, the way it makes this thumbnail is it takes the active camera. If I hit the zero on the numpad, you can see that's what the camera sees. So what I need to do is grab my camera, and I'm going to reorient it to zoom in on the face. And another thing you can see, it's a square thumbnail rather than the rectangle that you usually have through the camera view. So we can change our um, our scene format to instead of 1920 by 1080, I'm just going to make them 1080 by 1080, so it's nice and square. And another thing, if I zoom in too far, kind of get the fisheye lens, and I, I'd like it to be kind of flat. So I'm going to go to my camera, change the type to orthographic, and then change the scale down until it's zoomed in. If I hold down shift, actually let me turn on my screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing there we go in opens the side panel here and and then closes it back so I'm gonna hold down shift and when I sh hold down shift and drag the slider I have a lot more control over it rather than if I just hold this do the slider like that so it's, it's, it's a little more accuracy there so I'm gonna 
do like so. Okay, so now uh, we still got the pose. Go ahead and select the bones again. Um, hit the little uh, refresh thing there. Now it zooms on on this face. It's good. But one thing you might be noticing is, wow, we're we're looking at a nice uh, EV render view, actually the preview. But uh, on the preview, I, I turned on the scene lights and scene world, so it's almost the same as the actual render preview. So it's one little trick you can do. Anyways, it's showing it as white. I want it to show it as color. Well, there's two things you can do. Um, first off, if we just uh, render this, so render render image. And we can render just a just a sample of what this facial expression looks like. We can go image, save, and I'm going to. I've got a folder in here called face poses. You can see I've already played with this a little bit. I'm going to call this blank. Oh, underscore blank. Uh, face. There we go. And just save as image. And now, yeah, go ahead and close out the render panel there. If you click the little folder, go into that folder. Uh, the folder icon, go to the folder, open that. You can actually look at thumbnails if you like. So blank face, load custom preview. Boom, nice, beautiful. Okay, so that works pretty well. Gets you some really nice looking ones. Or if you don't want to go through that kind of hassle, I'll call it hassle. I mean, it's not, not too in depth. But uh, you can also do it just here in the solid view because that's when it renders. Let's create another one real quick. Let's just make him smile. Maybe open his mouth a little bit, show his teeth a little. Like, hey, he's happy. So let's select all these guys. And I'm going to go asset, create new pose asset. Um, the way it creates the thumbnails from the solid view. So um, the way we can uh, add some nice color to this, if you don't want to worry about rendering each time and having a big library full of the, the thumbnail images, you can just go to the, grab the model itself, go to the shader and under usually you see like the surface and all these settings here. Oh, why does it keep walking up on me when I do this? Okay, there it goes. Had to had to stop recording and restart a little while ago because it blender locked up on me when I went in to show the different colors. But anyways, you can see uh, normally you got the surface settings here, but if you collapse all that, go down to viewport display, you can see right now it's white. So I want it to be a nice dark green. I'm gonna do that. Maybe not quite that dark and go and click out there. So now, if I hit the render thing, boom, it's green. So we can do that to each part here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab his mask and I've okay, got the mask and pads. They're the purple color, but I don't see the purple because in the viewport display, it's still set to white. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that purplish. Not like so. Okay, so now if I do that, boop, updates it. Okay, so we can go through, and uh, if we want to get uh, white teeth and you know inside of his mouth and a different color shell and stuff, we can just add in some uh, temporary uh, colors, some temporary materials to do so. So I want white teeth, so I'm going to add a new one. And I think I was messing with this earlier, so I already have, oh, I guess I don't. Okay, I'm going to call this one white. Okay, so we've got a white color. And we don't have to do anything because the viewport to play display is already white. I'm going to add in another one. I'm going to call this one a new one and call it pink. Okay. And change this to a nice healthy pink color. There we go. And if you want to see the, the same color in the little preview panel here, you can also go to the surface and change the base color to that pink as well. And then it'll update here. Okay, so we got white for the teeth, pink for the mouth and tongue, and let's go ahead and add in a tan. Tan, and change the base color to tan. And over here, a little darker. There we go, and come down and collapse that. Come here, make that one tan. Okay, we're not seeing anything change yet because we haven't applied these colors to our model yet. So one more dark brown dark brown. I'm going to change the surface to a brown color. More of a chocolate brown, I guess. Then also the color of the viewport display. I like so. Okay, so now the way we can apply these colors uh, to see them in our thumbnail view is just tab into edit mode. 
and I'm going to go to side view here and I'm going to select my face select mode and just select a couple of vertices or excuse me a couple of faces uh, they're on his face and the back of his head. I'm going to hit Control L and it's going to select all of those that are within those uh, the boundaries of that UV map there on those seams. So now I can hit H to hide them. Go back to side view and I'm going to select this little thing here. Uh, looks like a whoopee cushion or something. This is actually the inside of his mouth. We're seeing the the outside of the inside of his mouth. That makes sense. So I'm going to Control L, apply pink to that. Okay. Hide that, got his tongue here, Control L, assign pink to that, go ahead and hide that, get it out of the way. Part of his gums, part of his top gums, Control L, pink, assign that, hide that. And I'm gonna select all of his teeth. And right now, if I just add, selected uh, and said white to that, it would only do on that side because I don't have my X-ray turned on. So turn on X-ray, you can see I do this, I select all of the teeth all over. Go ahead and sign that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and Alt H to unhide everything, and tab out of edit mode. And it looks good, but it looks like he's wearing lipstick or something. So um, I want to uh, come back in here and select my uh, my vertex select mode. Select that that uh, seam. Pull down Alt and right click. It selects the whole thing, the whole uh, loop of ver vertices there. So I'm going to hit the Control Plus. Numpad plus, and it's going to select one vertex uh, above and below the vert vertices that are selected. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to be green so it doesn't look quite like lipstick anymore. Okay, so let's grab our face select. I'm going to grab the, his chest plate, as it were, chest plate shell, chest shell. Assign that tan to that, and I'm going to select here on his back shell, and apply that dark brown. Okay, so now we have some base basic colors there. So if I hit the little refresh button there, now it looks pretty good. So this is a way you can do, and okay, so now we've got him smiling. I want to have him frowning. Go ahead and close his mouth a little bit. So he's maybe he's having a serious discussion with, with Leonardo or something. Okay, so select all those. Asset, create pose asset. And now that I've got the, the basic color set, it'll automatically do that for each new uh, facial expression. And by the way, let's go ahead and rename these. Right now if I select the original, the first one we did, let's just call it uh, blank face, okay? Then we can go smile, and then we can go frown. All right, and it sorts them automatically alphabetically. Okay, so uh, say you wanna animate with these. Just move this over here. Um, I'm going to hit N over here on my, my main 3D viewport, and I'm going to zoom back to the very front of my timeline, turn on automatic keyframe insertion, and if you go to animation, right there, you see your current pose library file. So the first one I want is going to be blank face. You see it automatically creates keyframes for each one of those bones that are selected. It didn't put anything on any of the other bones, just the ones that are selected. So I want him to go up five frames and then he's going to smile. You just gotta click on the thumbnail and it automatically pops it in there. Go up to frame 10 and frown. So you can see it automatically goes in between those. So you can make him talk. If you have enough of the different facial expressions, you can make him talk. So, real quick, one thing I wanna do, since I have this nice looking first one, I wanna go ahead and make the other ones look the same. So, let's go to the frown, which is this one here. Go ahead and make sure that's the one we're setting and then hit F12 to render. And it'll render a little bit faster. Also, if you use the EV renderer, it goes quite a bit faster than trying to, I mean, you can render it with, with the, uh, the cycles and you probably don't need quite as big of a thumbnail. 1080 by 1080 is probably overkill. You could probably get away with, what is this, probably maybe 200 by 200 or so. But anyways, um, just render it through the EV and get a nice big one. So image, save as, I'm just gonna call this one Brown, save as image, and then go ahead, close it out, and go ahead and do the smile, and F12, that one. And I'm gonna save. As you can see, I didn't apply those shape keys to the masks as of yet. So, right now it's only affecting the shape of the face. But I'm gonna save this one and call this one smile. Save as image. Okay, so close that out, 
and now I can grab smile over here. Now if you click this over here, it does not apply the the sh the, uh, the pose to the animation. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do frown again just to get that sh the uh, keyframes back in there. Okay, so I got frown here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up that frown thumbnail and smile and open up the smile thumbnail. Load custom. All right, so now it looks nice and pretty. So I'll go back to there.